Your discretion is advised. Hello everyone, Ro here and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Today we're just kind of gonna see what kind of job we can get. So I hope you guys enjoy. Now let's get started. Okay, so, um, real quick, I have been playing a little bit since the last episode. Um, I'm currently in my garage in Los Angeles, I believe. Um, actually, can we take a look at the map? Yeah, okay, Los Angeles. Um, actually, I need my map to be... I don't know why, my map keeps, like, resetting the size. I really don't like that. I want it zoomed out on the... On that little uh, the route advisor but whatever um so let's go ahead and take a look here I am now a level 15 that's under um, entrepreneur it's no longer under workhorse um and uh, yeah my rating is still at 3.3 I believe it was like that the last time so no big deal um let's see so the truck is still got the same paint job as uh, the one that we put on it at the end of last episode. So I think that's really it. We have $195,000. Um, and I don't... I think we do have loans to pay off, actually. So this one has... You know what? We'll go ahead and pay off this one. And uh, hmm, do I want to pay off that one? You know, I... Uh, hell, we'll do it. So we're gonna repay those two. Now we're at $27,400. No big deal, we have fuel, we have quite enough um, for ourselves here. Um, not gonna expand my company yet, um, just really no need to. Let's go ahead, go to the freight market, and um, see what we can get out of Los Angeles. So, we could go all the way to the very dip corner actually no this one's longer why oh because it's flammable okay I see um hmm, that's also a long trip I don't know if I want to do a long trip or not I kind of just want to do one episode right now kind of not feeling right if you know what I mean that is also to Reading that still far um can we just try to inch my controller stick analog left stick whatever fucking I can't talk um I guess we could take a trip to um hmm. uh, Barstow is too quick we could do this we could go to Fresno that's not gonna take very long is it you know what we'll take uh We'll go from we'll go from Los Angeles to Oakland. Uh, I guess we can do that. We'll take twenty seven thousand pounds of clothes. Um. So I'm not really sure what to talk about. I never I ne see that's the thing. I never know what to talk about. But the thing is, like with American Truck Simulator, and you know, like same with Euro Truck Simulator was. American Truck Sim is kind of where I talk about stuff. Like, it's usually where I just get to sit down, talk with you guys, explain things or whatever. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, I've got nothing right now. So, my apologies if I'm going to be very quiet this episode. But, uh, I just, I don't know what to talk about. Um, so no new mods are in, uh, no, I don't think there's been an update or anything since, it's just same old game. Um, yeah, I really don't know, my computer is making a lot of noise right now, because my computer has, 
on the left side panel, the, the main side panel that you would remove to access basically everything in my computer, uh, it has a little window on it. Um, I have the NZXT Phantom 410, and it has a little window on it, little plastic simple window, and I think it's a little loose because it's rattling, and it's really annoying. It's been doing it for weeks, and I just haven't wanted to take apart my computer, well, take apart the side panel and try and fix that shit. So it's super annoying, um, but uh, it's whatever. I'm sure it won't be noticeable in the video, so it's not too much of a concern. Plus, I think I... I I think I'm sure it's done it during videos before and it's just never showed up in the audio so that'll be fine let's go ahead and uh, that's gonna be our trailer right there the yellow it's actually the only trailer to pick up here apparently so let's go ahead I also don't know why that console right there decided to reset um I keep saying um a lot. It's not it's not a good thing. You know, as a YouTuber, you're always got to be talking. As a commentator, that's that's what you do. You talk. So uh, that was not a great backup. Um, but when you got nothing to talk about, or see the thing is, I'm not a much of a talker. So I say um a lot. I say uh um um just uh, see right there. That was an unintentional, that last one, but it's just, yeah, it's just habit, I guess. Can't really fix that. Also, I just completely ran over that curb. Um, Alright, so we are going to pull out here onto the road. I am sure that we're going to be taking the 5. Pretty sure we're going to take the 5. Actually, I don't know. The five goes north. The five is a north-south interstate, so... There's that. But tomorrow... See, today you are getting an LSPDFR episode 83, where I tase a cow. And, um... Also, of course, this video, American Truck Sim. Um, tomorrow is another LSPDFR. Obviously, LSPDFR is Monday through Friday, every day. Uh, but you're also going to probably get a different video as well, because there's still an open slot there until next week. Um, and uh, I'm not really sure if I want to say what the game is. I will tell you that the game is not fully usable on PC. It just runs like crap. Um, but uh, that's really all there is to it. It's also a game that I normally wouldn't play on... Uh, Alright, I well, it's a game that I've never played on PC, but it's also... Um, it's also a game that doesn't ever show up on my channel. It's, it's one of those games that just doesn't fit into my channel but uh, it will be showing up there for one time to see how well it does but next week you know what yeah next week is the long dark season 2 premiere I'm very excited for that very excited kind of excited. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed about it because I I haven't been playing it, so I can't really say how much I enjoy it because I've kind of not been enjoying it. Uh, we need to... Actually, no, we're good. We're going to need to get off this... We're on the 5, aren't No, we're getting on the 5 now. Got it. I see that now. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and get on the 5 here. Let's go ahead, use our trailer break a little bit. Slow us down. Oh 
or really not trying to off-road this thing. We are off-roading it. We apparently just got damage. Oh well. No big deal. It's just 1%, and it's on the truck and not the trailer, so I won't get uh, deducted for that. Well, until I go to the shop, but job-wise, it'll still count as excellent. But yeah, The Long Dark returns next week, March 3rd, Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, obviously. So that's exciting. Um, it'll be fun to bring that game back to the channel. I really enjoyed it when I was playing it. Um, it's just a really awesome game. It's, it's honestly, it's my favorite indie game. Um, I'm not, I'm not one that plays indie games. A lot of the games I play, like uh, Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto V or American Trucks, well, American Trucks Sim isn't a AAA though. I guess it's well, does it count as an indie game then? I mean, they the company has been behind many. I'm also going 68 on a 55. That's not a good idea. I should probably pay attention. Um, but yeah, I mean, SES Software is behind a lot of games, from uh. Euro Truck, Euro Truck 2, American Truck, Bus Driver. Um, I forgot what the other ones were, but they're they're behind quite a few titles. So I wouldn't necessarily call them indie. I'd just say they're small as a publisher or whatever. Developer. But when it comes to a company that I've never heard of before and really don't have anything out, that's where the Long Dark comes in. Hinterland Studios, and man, the game is awesome. Love the art style, love the setting, love just being able to explore and also have that kind of fear of getting eaten by wolves or bears. It's fun. I love it. So it'll be interesting to get back into it, considering I haven't played it since the last recording. Which was in December. Well... Okay, that's a lie. I played a little bit last night, and I died immediately, but that's not the point. The point is, it's going to be fun to get back into it. I hope you guys enjoy it, obviously, um, as with any video on my channel. Which kind of leads me to the video that's coming out tomorrow, which is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies. Something I don't normally do, like I said. Um, something that really doesn't fit into my channel. I mean, sure, it's shooting, so I guess it fits in, considering every other game besides this is shooting but uh yeah i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be fun i've been playing it quite a bit it's not very well optimized for pc unfortunately it runs like crap um it runs worse than grand theft auto 5 when it launched on pc but it still doesn't crash normally it crashes it's just not normal um I've been playing it for quite a bit. Uh, Exo Zombies, I just started playing it, like, last night. Just because I kind of got screwed over by Steam. So, uh, fun tip, if you're going to buy the Gold Edition on Steam, uh, just know that it's not the actual Gold Edition and does not include what it says it includes. And that you will have to pay an extra 15 bucks if you want zombies. But other than that, uh, we're going to not merge. That's a bad idea. I should pay attention to what I'm doing, because I almost merged into a cop. <laughs> and that would not be good. That would not be good. But yeah, um, it's a pretty fun game. I gotta say, Zombies on there is really different from Zombies on Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1. I didn't play World at War. Well, I played it, I just never played Zombies, because at the time it wasn't my thing. And even now, it's not really my thing, but it's fun, and maybe it will be my thing, right? And no, I'm not getting Black Ops 3, because we all know how much of a failure that game is. Now, uh, I don't plan on Advanced Warfare Exo Zombies being a series on my channel. I think it's kind of it's it's kind of like what I did with Test Run. I'm hard in the brakes here. Well, pardon the trailer brace, because I don't want to use too much of the... I don't want to insta-stop, but I also don't... 
want to crash into that car in front of us. Um, but, uh, what, what was I, what was I even say? Oh yeah, so I don't plan on Exo Zombies being a series. Think of it like a test run. Even though, technically, test run, I guess I could bring back the test run series and then just utilize that, I guess. I don't know. I guess maybe it will come back as a test run. But, uh, yeah, it'll be a test run where it's new to my channel. It's just kind of testing the waters and see how well it does. If it does good, great. If not, eh, goodbye. Basically. I'll just be playing it a lot in my free time because I've been... It's fun. I can't lie. I can't lie. Now, as for Firewatch, unfortunately, I'm not going to be getting the game. Don't get me wrong, Firewatch looks incredible, and I've watched the entire gameplay of it, which is actually why I'm not getting it. It's because I know the story behind it. I know everything that happens now, and it would it's just it's kind of ruined the fun of being able to play it. There's a lot of mystery into the game, and having seen the entire walkthrough, it's not <laughs> Yeah. It's just it, it wouldn't be as fun anymore so plus I'm not really one for like I'm not really one for story based survival games I guess is well it's not really a survival because you're not I'm not really one for you know heavily based on story mode um because with that, it's like you have objective after objective after objective. Say with American Truck Simulator, you pick your jobs. There's no real mission other than don't die or don't kill anyone, which um, I avoid at all costs. Don't get me wrong. The footage that is probably popping up on your screen right about now may or may not have happened when I was tired and bored and stuff. But that's not the point. The point is... I like free roam. I like being able to pick what I do and all that. And Firewatch is not that. I mean, I guess the Long Dark also isn't that, but it's still kind of free roam. You get to explore. You get to, you know, you have this nice big world that you can just fit into. Um, and that's why I like Grand Theft Auto so much. It's fun. I like I like open world games. Takes me back to the days of Test Drive Unlimited 2. That game was the shit, man. I also spent a lot on <laughs> DLCs for that game. So sad. Alright, so we are arriving here in Oakland. Just getting off the 5 right now. And, uh... We're gonna slow down here. We got a Chevy Express van. Got, what is that, a Mercedes? Little station wagon. We got a truck taking a left here, but uh, we'll do the same. Don't you even. I'm telling you, man, the AI in this game is partially psychotic. And by partially, I mean they are psychotic. They are 100% psychotic. They will do what they want to do. They won't. They won't follow the law exactly. Oh, come on. You could absolutely make that right. Actually, obviously, you're going to have right on red anyway, so might as well take it. So we'll stop right here. My turn signal is going. There's no traffic in either direction here. Go ahead and make a left turn here. Uh, okay, just a little tiny scrape, no big deal. I'm telling you, first delivery of the day, I always like mess up some way, somehow. 
It's just what I do, apparently. I have to get back in the groove, basically. Alright, so we'll go ahead and make a right turn here. Maybe we'll do a delivery after this. Maybe we'll just finish off for the week. Maybe I won't do so shitty on my second run. Alright, so we're here at Oakland Shippers. It's the shipping yard for Oakland, California. We're gonna be dropped- Oh, fuck, I hate that one. I hate that one because... It's like between containers and it's not the greatest when you're doing it in third person. The reason why I do it in third person is, well, because you can't see the trailer once- Yeah, right now, I can't see the trailer because that stupid exhaust pipe. So we're getting it right in between there. So that is going to be great. Let's go ahead and uh, just take a quick peek here. Yep. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Uh, let's go ahead and actually reverse. Okay, now we're going go away. Okay, so now we're going to get ourselves lined up. Had to do this huge U-turn here. Okay, now we go into third person. So, oh, actually we should probably turn those on. Not that we're going to get penalized if we don't use them, it's just, you know, a good idea. Alright, so let's go ahead and swing this way. We'll just kind of gently turn it in there. Make sure we don't slam into those containers there. I'm getting 60 FPS right now. Let's see how long that lasts. This easer in here. May have gone a little too far here. I can save it. Maybe. I mean, if we just back it up all the way, then we could just go in straight. It'd be nice if there was an alternative way in here, but I highly doubt there is. Looks like there's an opening actually right there, but nope, containers. Alright, well, this part's pretty easy, we just go in here. That's that's it. How we can even be in neutral for this. And there. Nope. A little bit further. There. There? Nope. A little more. Okay, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead, put this in neutral, parking brake and all that fun stuff, disable the flashers. And uh, we'll go ahead and actually take a quick peek outside, just, just to see how well we did. I'd say we did pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Let's go ahead and detach the trailer here. Alright, so we delivered a lot of clothes from Los Angeles to Oakland, California. Took us, uh, took us 288 miles, which, uh, in turn took us 5 hours, 56 minutes. That utilized 39.9 gallons of diesel. Total, we got $20,823, as well as 1,540 XP. In case you're wondering why that's so high, it's because I have a reputation mod that I mentioned in the last episode. Alright, so... Job market. Let's go ahead and actually, uh, let's go ahead and take another load. Why not? We'll go ahead and get Friday's episode out of the way. So I will see you guys then.